vlog today is february 3rd and i was just so busy with so many things as i transitioned back to my old job which is target and also i had so much oopsie stuff that i had to do and then patreon i still have patreon for february and then i also have some patreon stuff that i needed to send out and then the oopsie release that i also need to send out which is all of all of that is done except for finalizing the drawing for february even though it's already february right now i sent a draft of what everything is gonna look like on my patreon and the theme and whatnot but i realized i haven't really vlogged anything since showing you guys the changes in my room um but i haven't really updated it because i've been just really busy like i said like it's just a lot of like unboxings as i shown you guys earlier i was able to get thanks to you guys who supported my oopsie bags I was able to get a button maker which is probably like not a big deal for you guys because it's not something that you usually grab or gravitate towards but I really had a vision of button making ever since like 2015 when I wanted to sell at artist alleys but I got one and it wasn't working good so I sent it back that was when eBay was the place to go not Amazon Amazon didn't even exist I don't think um, but I sent it back and never thought of it again and I kind of gave up on the dream of selling at artist alleys but now I'm giving it another run and I think I'm gonna do like button packs of maybe six or eight maybe depending on how I'll do it and I'll also sell singles at conventions I'm probably mostly gonna do buttons at conventions because they're pretty cheap and easy to do and I could do it while I'm tabling and stuff like that. The button maker is a little bit heavy. I can't show you guys right now because Mingo is actually assembling it all together. I have all the parts right here which it came with a thousand pieces and then after that you have to purchase them. So that's what I got today and then I also got some tabling stuff. I got the square reader that I need for when I'm selling at conventions. I got a pink tablecloth and then the heavy box over there are my cubes that I can put and organize my stuff on so it's slowly coming together the vision is slowly coming together I'm so excited because I'm getting the parts that I need like I really wanted the bigger reader for cards but I think I'm gonna save up on that and then I just went with this $50 one which is pretty expensive still but it's a cheaper route but still I can have and accept payments for debit cards when it comes to like markets um, festivals and of course artist alleys which i've applied to a couple i was waitlisted for one i think i applied to four but i haven't heard back from the three which is kind of close because it's like i don't know they're all pretty far and i'm gonna wait for one local one or one in atlanta here soon like it's gonna be open in february 6th so we'll see but i also got some business cards here that you know, I want to show you guys they're really like not very new but I think I'm going back to business cards for right now and then I'll do more postcards later on for, for the orders but I just got a couple of these because last time I bought so much I haven't even used them and I changed my freaking name so many times that now I can't use that one because that one says by Carla May and now my shop is simply Cami again so we have this itty bitty piece which you know simple i got it from vista print so it has this one and the back just has a message on it and then i can put like the person's name so it's not going to be a postcard for now i'm waiting until you know i can do postcards again but postcards are kind of expensive to make and i look tired because we took Mia out today and she did not want to go take a bath so I had to like sink in the bathtub with her with like my clothes still on I was wearing jeans and you know my underwear so it was all wet so I washed up my makeup off and you know we had a long day we had a long but fun day and I got me some milkshake with boba in it it's like chocolate milkshake that I get from this Vietnamese store or a restaurant not store 
but yeah i'm just so excited there's so much going on and i have so much to do while still doing all the other stuff like still having a job budgeting as well as you know being a mom so it's all very exciting though i am glad i have the time to do it i know i look tired right now just because i am i am pretty tired but today was really productive like i was able to do the orders finish them up and also finalize my budget for the transition from january to february and then i also you know did some reels i try to do some reels through or film some reels through my camera and see how i can do that in my computer and maybe do that because my reels are kind of low quality and i want them to be higher and i don't have an iphone 13 plus or whatever um i do have a pretty good phone it's just not doing it for me even though i add so many lights it's just washing it out so i'm gonna try this method and see if that works i packed some orders and filmed it so let's see i have packages for i've packed four packages but i also want to draw like i want to be able to draw my patreon for february and then i wanted to draw a new cute girl because i just I'm like dying to add another one I just want to keep drawing honestly but when you're running like a really small business and you're just a one-man show like you're doing the everything like you're doing pictures you're doing auditing you're doing emails um, orders and just doing everything all the admin stuff is the stuff that I don't really enjoy but you have to do especially I have to be hands-on with it so I cannot just draw right now even though I want to I have other things that I have to do Hopefully this will make me last for like two more hours because I want to sleep early because I have to work tomorrow so I can have some good sleep but I'm gonna organize here a bit and then we can start but I'm so excited this square reader makes it real for me like that I'm actually gonna be tabling and that I actually can take payments in person with a card that means so much to me and applying to these cons I'm so excited I'm just like nervous i want to apply to other cons but i'm starting this year like just closer to local than flying like if we can drive five hours which is florida that's also possible but i really wanted to do some cons at texas but that one we're ha we're gonna have to fly there so i'm gonna have to save that for when i've decided that i really want to do cons so yeah i'm just gonna be busy with this and you know i don't really grab the camera a lot because i'm trying to do more reels and tiktoks lately than focusing on my youtube but i still want to update you guys and take you guys in this journey with me as i do artist alleys working on my butt milker it's just as confusing as last time but at least there's instructions this time that's good you think it's better than the last time yeah it's definitely a lot better they improved their product and also they sent instructions i don't think that's the same company well it looks exactly the same they have a lot of the same ones it has troubleshooting if it's not working so read over that and cutting sizes i don't know if you know all that so thanks my love mm -hmm. and these are tools to adjust it if it's so unaligned i don't know how that would happen because it's on a thing so Ooh. So how would I do it? But uh, it's on a track, so it can't come off. To my understanding, I don't know exactly how it goes, but it's going to be left and then right finishes it off. Is that you? Is that you? What are you trying to do? It's 11.56 on February 5th and it's almost the 6th but I've been fiddling around with my button maker and I'm not even supposed to. I was wanting to do other things or needing to do other things like Patreon things but I really couldn't stop thinking about the button maker and all the stuff that I want to do with it and how much I can like improve my table setup with it so I was just messing with it and I know I don't look presentable right now because I wasn't even planning to vlog it because honestly I just it's a Sunday today so I was with Mia all day and honestly we we're just at home we we're just enjoying each other but just not even trying to do anything else but I wanted to mess with it and this is my first button 
that I did and it has my Sailor Moon design which it's this design right here it's my February Patreon well one of the designs but it's Usagi so you can see and you can see like the flaps it didn't even catch like the backing didn't even catch because it just wasn't done right I was very stressed about it because I was like is it gonna happen to all of them and I don't know I was stressed and I was like oh my gosh I don't even want to do this but then I kept adjusting the the size of the art like I made it bigger and bigger and because maybe it was too loose so I wanted it to wrap around this is my latest one this is no face this is one of my August patreon rewards and I just kind of adjusted the size of the art to make it smaller it's really hard to center though but I think this looks okay and it looks really really cute and the back is actually staying now because I made the, the paper larger so it wraps around so it's not so loose. I think that was the issue. Sorry, I got a cut from wrapping boxes at work. I did several other tries like with Haku right here. And then I have another No Face one. And then this one is Usagi with better like wrap around. Like it actually stuck but some of them comes off. But you can see here it doesn't wrap around like the paper doesn't wrap around so it's a little bit loose so it comes off like the back so you have to make it really tight so i made the paper bigger it was just a lot of adjusting and i had this cutter for the circles but it wasn't working like it only has one size so i used my cutter my silhouette so that actually helped that i have that because i kept having to adjust the sizes so i can actually return this and i don't need this anymore and i could just print and cut because it's just on copy paper so if you put it on different paper it's not going to wrap around because if you make it too thick it's not gonna make the button if you want to make the quality better but it's it needs to be on copy paper and i think it works out and you're probably wondering like why am i pushing for these buttons these are such a great seller at conventions because they're easy they can go to people that cosplay the actual character or if they want to make like ida bags which are just um bags that i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i'll put one right here but usually they put enamel pins or buttons people also use it with lanyards and other things if I put them on the pin, they're kind of too big, so I don't know what size is better. This one is the latest one, the one that is one of the best ones. So this size is better, I think, because you can see it. I'm so glad! And I got the 1.25 inch, not any bigger. I want to get one a bigger one eventually, like a big, a bigger button maker for my cute girls to turn them into like buttons only if i can see that this is doing good at conventions and maybe on my online shop um if it's only doing better but if it's not i'll probably just stick to these because i don't want to invest on this because this one is like 99 dollars. so with taxes and everything it was like 120 something and then it came with the parts but after i run out of the parts i have to buy them which is like 30 dollars for like 500 i think it depends on how many you buy and then i bought this cutter but i'm actually gonna take it back this was 14 dollars so it was a pretty big investment that i really wanted to do when it came to my oopsie bag release and the money that i was gonna get from there i knew i wanted it so i got it and at first i thought it wasn't working the way i wanted to it was getting frustrating but you know i overcame it and just thought critically and just calm myself down and thought of different ways to do it so it actually worked out